Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. This is the second part of the Zaha Hadid building in Riyadh. So uh, today we will continue to create this building. So actually we just trying to make some uh, some mason form. So I'm not trying to copy the form. I want to show you the, some principles how you can create this building. So because uh, when you look on this building you think this is really complicated and how I can do in Revit. Uh, I will tell you you can do it really easily, but you should spend time. So spend time it doesn't equal uh, It means it's not hard. So uh, You just should spend time to find the way to create some of the things of this building uh, The previous video you already know how to create uh, exterior facade and with these panels Anyway, in the next um, video, I will show you how you can parameterize these all panels. But we will talk today about this canopy. Actually, this is canopy. It's really easy. You just will create the form. But the column, you should think how you can create this kind of, of column. As you can see, this is double the column. Uh, of course, you can create, I don't know, like uh, two mm, different column and connect that if you want. Or we, I will show you the other way how you can create the, your column in uh, for this building. So let's get started. So as you can see, I already have here the some column, but I will delete this one and I will create from the zero uh, for you the sum columns. Uh, you have the choice. You can create uh, right here in the project your new column. Just use the architecture and uh, component and uh, med, med model in place. Or you can create the new family and create your column there. So uh, actually it doesn't matter where you will choose uh, where you want to create your column. It's only up to you. Uh, I will create it, for example, in new family. So let's go to the new family, new family, and I will choose, for example, the column structure. Uh, if you will create uh, right here in uh, Revit, so you will go to the component, you will make the component in place, and you will choose here the column. Where is the our column? Here. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the family. I will find the structure column is here and let's go inside to this family. So now we are inside the family. This is our its main thing, like uh, where will our column will be placed. But I will go to the back view, for example, this view. And I will start from here. So first I will do extrusion. Uh, let's create the extrusion. Uh, I will make like, for example, like this angle and i will make the final angle like this one i think let's check it okay good i think this is what i want we will see later on okay so on the next i will choose for example fillet arc uh, i don't want to use now any um any numbers i will use uh, for example uh graphic uh, visualization thing like i think this is will be enough uh, yeah, uh, this is will be my column. So let's make offset of this column and I will do like 500 millimeters uh, Just standard column. Let's make the 500 millimeters and let's make some uh, Changes here too. I will do like this So my column will be not parameterized uh, So uh, to make it parameterized, I will show you next movie uh, but today we will create some um, some static one because our building it's kind of uh, unique so it means uh, you not not not, do, not will have some uh, many a lot of mm, variants of for example of this column uh, because uh, for your constructor it will be so expensive thing uh, let's go back now to the 3d view let's go back to 3d view and you can see it's so thin Let's make it uh, as bigger as we want, for example, like this. So don't worry about that. We will change it now. I'll go now to the uh, reference uh, to the plan view. And now I will create the void form. Let's go to the create void form. Uh, actually, here I cannot see anything. I will go to the uh, 3D view and I will use here the top mode. This is much better. 
So let's find the middle. Here I have a middle and I will start from the middle. For example, this part I will do like this. Let's create like this. And now I will just uh, select everything here and I will copy on the other side like this. And now I will delete this thing. Uh, let's delete this thing too. And, and we will trim this line to this one. So we did it, we did it. So, but this one I don't like. I don't want to make uh, something kind of this thing. Uh, let's make, for example, like this 150. Uh, and now I will a bit extrude. Okay, that one I will do like this. And what I'm gonna do now, I will select these two lines and I will create the mirror by line. Oh, sorry, this is, was my mistake. Uh, let's select two of them and by line. So now I think okay. And let's say okay. Seems okay. We are now in 3D view. We can see everything and let's extrude it as much as we can like this. So now we have our form, but we need one more form. As you already understand, I think you already understand the kind of uh, uh, thing how to create this uh, kind of shape. It's really not so uh, not so hard if you want to create the static form. So this is one static. You cannot change immediately by a parameterized thing. But anyway, this is also a nice way if you want to create something uh, fast and or something unique. So why not? This is also possible. As you can see, 500 I cannot uh, put inside. Uh, now I can. So this is some, some wrong thing. Uh, let's, let's try to find this line. Too hard actually. Aha, uh -huh, here. Okay, awesome. And I will do something here like this and like this okay so awesome and let's connect these two lines like this uh let's check on the 3d uh-huh everything i see uh, i think everything okay and let's ext extrude it again so as you can see now we cannot extrude because now our form already used the one extrude we should use again the cut let's use the cut mode and let's cut it as you can see we get our shape so let's load inside our project where is my project mass form here let's change to the vertical mode and now my columns here, as you can see. Uh, actually, now you are know how to create uh, your column. It's really easy. Uh, so as you can see, my column now under my building because I'm using depth mode, change to the height mode, and now everything will be okay. So I will put now on by the plan near with this mine main building. Let's go back to 3D and as you can see, everything now okay. So uh, by this way, you can create uh, some kind of shapes. As you can see, this is near to the our shape, uh, our shape of the column. Uh, you can create, for example, two different columns and use it in your model. Uh, anyway, if you want to know how to create parameterize, because it will take really time, it's like we will do it like. Uh, it will take like one hour maybe to get all parameters of this column. But if you still want to see it, uh, let me know and we will do the stream about this column. But for now, this is uh, everything what I want to show you. Uh, about the materials, we will speak later on, but uh, you can uh, change mater materials if you want right now. Uh, anyway, for now, this is that's it. We will continue in the next uh, in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you next time. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.